Okay, today is on how to use the espresso machine that we use for Giappuccino. The first thing you'll do is plug it in, and there's a switch on the very back that just powers up the machine. To get the machine ready, there is a water reservoir on this side that holds water, and I just have a pitcher here to go ahead and get some water in here. And this is one of the things you must watch closely if your job is to make espresso for Giappuccino, and we'll talk about that a little later. So that just slides in. And then on this side is another container, and that is for your coffee beans. And we buy whole bean coffee, and you just put some beans in there, and we already have some in there. And you can fill this all the way to the top when you're making coffee for Josh Chino. Okay. So your machine is ready, but and it's been powered up, but it's not ready to make espresso yet. Because we just added water, the water must go through the machine and get hot before it can make coffee. So to start that whole process, you push this button, and you see this light starts flashing. So what's going to happen is we have to wait now until the rinse symbol is illuminated. Okay, we're back, and once this light starts flashing here, you can turn this to the steam, and all this is going to do is put some water through this to warm up the frothing attachment. Now, we don't use the frothing attachment for our job chino, but this is still necessary to fire up the machine. And again, that's all it did. So you turn this back to the cup symbol. Okay. And now we need to wait for the rinse symbol to come on. And right now it's flashing, so we need to wait until it stops flashing. Now, generally speaking, that only takes a minute or so. Okay, as you can see, the rinse symbol is illuminated and it is not flashing, it is solid. So what we do now is we make our first cup of coffee. Now this coffee will not be any good. We need to throw it away. But what happens is it's going to run hot water through the machine. It'll be pretty clear because it didn't actually grind any coffee. It's just getting some residue of what's in the machine. And now all, the, all of these symbols are going to um, light up for us. So this means a single cup of espresso. We can turn this to a double cup. And a double cup will fill our carafe to the two line, which is fine. I'm going to throw this away. Now in order to make coffee, you simply press the button. What's going on right now is the machine is grinding coffee, it's putting it in the little container, it's pressing it down so that it's real packed, and then it runs hot water through there under pressure to make espresso. And as you see, um, our coffee will start coming out. And I'm going to turn this so you can see it should take us right up to the two. The machine will stop automatically. Now, right now that coffee looks light, but that's simply because there's a lot of air. You can see the line of dark as those air bubbles break and it will keep going. If your job is to make espresso for Giappuccino, you can simply hit that button again and it will fill up to the four and then you would dump the espresso wherever your teacher has instructed for making the mocha and caramel lattes. Now, if this is your job, you have a couple other things to do other than push a button. Okay. Um, as you make the coffee, you're going to be using coffee beans. So you must keep an eye on the beans to make sure there's always beans over here and there will probably be a bag next to your espresso machine in order to do that. You must also watch the water level. Okay. Um, right now we're low because for the demo um, we're not going to finish all of this, but you will have jugs of water to keep pouring in here so that this stays up. Okay. Lastly, as you know, when you make coffee, you have coffee grounds. Well, this machine has an automatic little garbage can, and so you have to empty this about every five or six batches of espresso, and then when it gets full, a light will start flashing, and it's flashing right now because the machine's not put together correctly. So you would, you'll have a garbage can by you, just dump the coffee grounds in there, And once your machine's put back together, it has beans, it has water, the, the garbage is empty, everything is solid, and then you can continue making espresso. Again, you only have to empty that garbage about every five or six batches of espresso. When these are full, they last much longer. You simply need to keep an eye on them. Okay, enjoy.